Hey, hey, Casey right here, and today I am real excited because it is my one year anniversary posting Hey, Hey, Casey Ray videos. So in honor of my anniversary here on YouTube, I wanted to throw it back to my very first video. As cringy as it is, I will show you a little clip here. This is my first time and I don't know what to do with my hand. I'm Casey Ray and I've been on a decluttering, kind of minimalist-ish, minimalish type of journey. My goal was to do an outfit each day of the month of February and kind of show that you can have lots of different outfit choices based upon a minimalist wardrobe. I didn't actually film each outfit for the whole month of February. That's not what this video is. But in keeping with the outfit theme, I wanted to see exactly how many outfits I could create with very minimal clothing. So I picked four bottoms, which included one pair of shorts, a skirt, and two pair of pants. I picked three tops, which included a button down, a basic white tee, and a blue tunic, one distressed jean jacket, one camisole, one little black dress, three pair of shoes, and a belt. So out of all of these items, I managed to put together 25 outfits. The first outfit is a button down paired with a high-waisted short and my go-to Steve Madden boots. Outfit number two is pretty similar, only I twisted a basic white tee in the middle and put the button down over top. Yeah. For outfit number three, I changed the top to a blue tunic. I actually got this at Rue 21 and it is paired with a gray cardigan. And for outfit number four, same tunic, I just twisted it and put it to the side and it is paired with a distressed jean jacket. Tying a shirt around your waist is not only functional because if you get cold you will have a shirt later, but it's also really cute and it just gives a little something else to an otherwise really basic outfit. I'm going to be really honest and tell you guys that I don't usually wear heels. Um, they're kind of out of my comfort zone now. I used to wear them a good bit before, but not so much anymore but I picked these up for a wedding um, not too long ago and I, I really like these outfits, especially looking at them now. They just look really classy and I think I need to incorporate more heels in my life because these are super cute. For outfits eight and nine, I decided to use the cardigan two different ways. Um, this is my go-to cardigan lately. I like it because it doesn't have long sleeves and it's super versatile. You can use it during the spring and fall and sometimes the summer if you're like me, but I just really like this cardigan and especially with these outfits. This outfit, again, is out of my comfort zone, but I wanted to show you guys that there are lots of options with just a few items but um i really do like it i probably wouldn't wear it with the heels i think bearing your midriff and showing the heels for me personally that's a little much but um if you chose one or the other i think it would be okay but i do think it's really cute i think i look hot <laughs> but um yeah i probably wouldn't wear this out Outfits 11 and 12 are pretty similar. Um, 11 has kind of a wedged boot and 12 has my go-to Steve Madden boots, but I wanted to kind of dress it up a little more with the cardigan, but I think that it could easily be worn on its own. Um, I have worn a variation of this in the past and I think it's very cute, very bohemian, and I love it. Outfit 13 is paired with my denim jacket. I got this jacket at TJ Maxx and I really like it. It's kind of like a boyfriend cut, but paired with the skirt, it looks real country. <laughs> I'm not really into country um, clothing, so outfit 14 is definitely more my style. 
Um, it looks very bohemian and very eclectic and thrown together and that's more my style. Outfit 15 is very classy. Um, I look like I'm going on some sort of business luncheon of some sort. Um, I definitely would probably wear this for such occasion. Um, but I never would have thought to put these together if I hadn't done this challenge. Moving on to the little black dress outfits. I actually have worn outfit 16 or some variation of it, but I never thought to put a shirt over a dress like outfit 17. I know that's a thing that you can do, but it's not a thing I usually do. But it doesn't look too bad. I think it's actually kind of cute. Outfit 18 was very comfortable, first of all. I felt like I was wearing pajamas, but it's also very cute. Outfit 19, again, it looks kind of country. When you put my Steve Madden boots with the denim jacket, it gets a little bit country county fair. I don't know, but it's not bad. Um, would I wear it again? Probably not, but it is cute. So as I'm putting these outfits together, I'm like, what's another outfit I can do with this dress? And then I realize the dress is an outfit, but I never think to wear it just by itself. I always put my cardigan or some sort of something over top of it, but it's cute all by itself. Okay, so this is the last group of outfits. These are outfits paired with my distressed black jeans. I love these jeans, first of all. I actually got them from Goodwill and they did not have holes in them to begin with. I added those myself and I've been looking and looking for some black holy jeans. And yeah, I just decided to make them myself. The brand is called D Jeans and they fit so good. Actually, the jeans that I showed you guys previously those are the same brand and they are also from goodwill so be sure and leave a comment down below and let me know which outfit is your favorite i definitely think that these particular outfits paired with the distressed black jeans are my favorite um actually maybe this one's my favorite <laughs> so yeah don't forget to leave that below all right guys First and foremost, I wanted to say a big thank you to my subscribers. Thank you so much for coming back again and again. This has been an awesome year. I hope you will continue to stick by me, continue to comment and like and share and all of that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share with your friends. You're my favorites. Peace and love.